Good morning, lovely artists. Today, we are going to make something beautiful for Christmas. You will need two sheets of paper, a brush, your paints, a jar of clean water, glue, scissors, and some crayons. Let's get started. Quickly going to put these things out of the way. Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to paint one of your pieces of paper with blue and then you're going to take that piece of paper and put it away out of the way of pets and out of the way of siblings who are little to dry. Then you're going to take this piece of paper and you're going to take some crayons and I want you to draw very carefully one two, three, four, whoops, that's a bit wonky, doesn't matter, five, six circles. Doesn't matter if your circles are completely wonky, that's absolutely fine. All right, then we're going to decorate. Ha ha, I wonder if you can guess what these are going to be. We're going to use line. Remember, we're doing a lot of line work in our K, A, and K, B art this year. So, we are going to use line and shapes, and I want you to decorate these. Can you guess what they are? Who can guess what this is going to be? Can anybody guess? Beach balls? No, silly. It's not beach time. What's coming up soon? What are we all waiting for? Yes. Christmas, Christmas decorations. So you're going to decorate these with lots and lots of line and lots and lots of shapes like this and try to make them look really, really beautiful. So I'm just gonna decorate mine with a load of different things like this. Really beautiful. Okay, what should I do for this one? What kind of line? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna make a scribble on this one. I'm going to make different color scribbles and see if I can decorate this one just with scribbles. How does that sound? Scribbly, a scribbly decoration. There we go. There's that one. Ooh, this one I'm going to decorate like this with lines like this. What do you guys think? I'm going to make lines that look like this and maybe... I'll do like some crazy zigzag like this and like that. And this one, oh, you have to use your imagination. I'm going to make this one with lots and lots of lines like this. Look how many different types of line we can make. I want you to think how many different types of line you can make. And then I'm going to put some zigzags in here. I'm really in a zigzaggy mood. I'm going to make some snaky lines like this. And I'm going to make another zigzag like this. And over here, I'm going to go like this. And like this. And like this. And I think I'll make some lines that look like this for this one. There we go. And maybe like that. Oop. I think I want to make another line there and another line there and another line there. Okay, I have got my one, two, three, four, five, six beautiful looking Christmas baubles. Okay, now I'm going to take my paint, bring my water closer. You guys know this by now. This is one of our favorites, right? You're going to take some colors and I want you to make lots of different colors and you're going to paint. You're just painting the bauble, the Christmas ball. Remember what happens with the paint and the crayon. Yeah, that's right. Crayon and paint don't mix. Crayon pops out. And the crayon doesn't like the paint and it makes a really nice effect. Okay, so we got this. This is very simple. You can do this at home. Okay, uh, pink. I like some pink. Oh, 
can you guys hear the beautiful Christmas music playing in the chapel this morning? Listen. Isn't that lovely? They're singing hallelujah. All right, guys, look how beautiful. So I've painted my Christmas balls, all done. Okay, now guess what you have to do next. Who can guess? Can you tell me what you have to do with this? Mm. Yes, you have to go over this and put it in a place where it can dry. That's right, so we're gonna take this to the side where it can dry. Right, I've got this piece of paper now and this piece of paper. While the other paper is drying, okay, so your Christmas baubles are drying <clears throat> far away from dogs and cats and far away from baby brothers and sisters. Then we're going to take another crayon and we're going to work on top of this and we're going to make some Christmas branches. Okay, so your Christmas branches, I want you to just keep drawing like this. Do you see how I've done this? So you guys are going to copy very carefully. Fill up your page like this. And then Christmas trees have got lots of these things. They're called needles because they are pine trees. So you're going to draw this on your Christmas tree. Lots and lots of these. Who can remember? Can you guys, do you know what these lines are called? Lines that are next to each other like this? Yes. Parallel. Parallel lines. You're going to draw loads of parallel lines to make, because the leaves on a pine tree are very strange. They are like lots and lots of needles. So you need to draw in the needle leaves. So guys, take your time with this, okay? Follow the steps, drawing in the needle leaves for your pine. All right. So we've got our Christmas tree like this, the branches, just a part. It's not the whole tree, just a part of the tree. So I'm gonna put this to the side. Then I'm bringing back my baubles. Who can guess what we need to do with these baubles? Oh yeah, you got that right. We have to decorate our tree. So you guys are gonna take scissors and you're going to cut very carefully. I give you guys a lot of cutting. Do you know why? Because it makes your hands strong for writing. Yeah. And for going to first grade, you need to practice. Yep. There you go. That's one done. And I'm going to keep cutting until I have cut out all my beautiful Christmas decorations like this. Listen to that beautiful praise and worship music. Coming from, let's listen to the music while I cut. Only three more, oh no, how many to go? How many more? Two more to go, yes. We've done four, and now we must add another two, and four plus two makes what? Four plus two is six, yes. Right, last one. Don't give up, keep going. Keep going, phew, this is hard work. Okay, we've got all our Christmas balls, so we're gonna put those to the side. We need to make a space, and I'm bringing back my branches. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our glue. Then you're gonna put lots of glue on the back of your Christmas bauble, and then you're just gonna decorate your tree. You're gonna put your baubles on your tree wherever you want them to be, right? So I'm gonna hang some baubles onto my tree, there we go. Christmas bauble. There's another one there. Try to space them out all over the place, okay? That's it. There's another one over there. There's another one over there. 
and I'll put another one on the top like this. No, maybe I'll put, no, I'll put that one there. Oh, that looks very sparkly and very, very Christmassy. Look at that. Doesn't that look rather festive? Good job, guys. 